guys what's up it's Maria so for today's video I thought I would share with you guys my everyday makeup routine um well not every day just whenever I do my makeup this is what I do this is like I go for a very glowy natural skin look so uh that is what I'll be sharing with you today so I've already um washed my face moisturized and all that and next up I usually do is um, put Vaseline on my lips so do that because when you put lipstick on it just kind of makes it a little smoother I find also um I'm gonna write down in the description below all the products I use because I may have forgot to mention them, so I'm just gonna leave them in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So I'm gonna go on with some, as I say, I'm gonna leave them in the description. I'm gonna go on with some MAC strobe cream um, and just kind of apply this all throughout my face. Now, I don't actually use foundation i'll go through phases when i'm either using foundation or concealer and currently i'm going through a phase where i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer and also because it's like it's here in canada it's actually finally getting warmer out um so i just don't want to be wearing such heavy like i don't want to wear like a ton of makeup you know so i'm gonna just apply this all over my face and I do have like very as you can see I have quite red skin so I find that this does like a good job with uh, covering it I find that this does a good job without with covering that without having to use um what do you call that stuff color corrector so if you see me looking below I have a I put a mirror down below because I can't really see that well through my camera but just if you're wondering um, so then I just take one of these, like, stiffened brushes, these, like, I don't know, this, like, kind of, like, a brush like this, and I just blend it in. Nothing fancy. Although, wait, I do want to say, for under the eyes, I go, like, I dabble it in, you see? Like a, a dabble? A dabble? A dab? I don't know. I feel like this is blended in nicely. It looks kind of funny on the camera, like it's not, but like looking in the mirror, it does look blended in well. I'm gonna move on to concealer. I actually use a foundation. That's so funny. I just thought about that. I use a concealer as a foundation and a foundation as concealer. Shoot. I use foundation as a concealer and concealer as a foundation. So I'm gonna just go in, I pop some. Uh, I went to the MAC sale with my cousin back in like December and I bought this. I was really excited because I was like, oh, this is going to be so much easier. I should apply foundation. To find out this is a bajillion shades too light for me. There's just so many people that I just like picked a random shade. I was like, you know what? This looks like it would fit me. Um, and um, yeah. So now I'm just going to go in with like a sponge and I'm just going to blend that into under my eyes. And I also, once I'm done that, I go around my entire face to make sure that all the foundation concealer from before is all blended. I do my eyebrows. Okay, eyebrows are done. Use the Coco Contour palette from Too Faced and just this like little dabble brush. I feel like all these names I've created for all these things. The, hold on, I don't wanna blind you. I go in with these two light shades here. Just kind of mix in and then oh i don't want to blind you but let me try again and i kind of just like dab this onto my face to wherever i feel let's do the cheeks so i go in with this is my favorite product for contour bronzing i don't contour and bronze i bronze tour that's what i call it i bronze tour so i go in with this is the smashbox contour palette and I go in with contour and bronze I just kind of take this brush I've been wanting this brush since I was like eight years old and I finally have it I kind of just go in like this so uh, I feel like the brush has enough even product okay there we go and I, I go in I pull it into my I pull the product into my hair because I find that this gives it more of a natural bronze and then don't forget to go under here yes okay 
now that that's done, we're gonna go in. Oh my god, my eyes! We're gonna go in with some blush. So I use a fan brush for blush because I don't know where I heard this. I can't remember where, but I heard that applying blush with a fan brush is more natural. Also, like who applies this highlight with this? I don't know. Maybe because mine's like thickened like that. But anyways, so I use this blush palette. And honestly, this was my aunt's. She gave it to me years ago and I still use it. But the thing is, I don't know the brand of this and it's actually a sample. Like, I don't know how she got this, but it's a sample and it has the prettiest blushes in here. And I just, so if you have any, just use your favorite blush. Sometimes we'll even go in with this, this little Tarte blush in Parte. Um, yeah. So then I'm gonna go in with this, like, corally orangey this blush here it looks a lot like more heightened in color in the camera the camera on my phone <laughs> and I just um, now we get highlight so I think this is a good this look has a good variety of high end to low end so if you don't have any if you want to do this look but you don't have any of the high end stuff I'm sure you can find drugstore dupes for this. This is the best highlighter I have ever used. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the best highlighter I've ever used. Look, can you see? <laughs> um, this is it, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. Literally a couple bucks. I remember, I think now they sell this for $5. When I started to buy this, it was like $3. <laughs> no joke, $3. So I'm gonna go in this. I also dab this on too. I find that this also gives it more of like this not now I'm gonna pull up. I feel like it gives more of a natural look, but then I'm like, oh I want more glow. <laughs> and then a little bit of my chin. A little bit of my cupid's bow. And I haven't contoured my nose yet. We've forgotten. So this does have like a little bit of a rosy tint to it as well, if you were wondering, but I'm gonna go back in with this contour palette and just this like flat and brush. Mix these together and contour my nose. I do contour my nose. I love contouring my nose. It's probably one of my favorite steps. Um, so yeah, I'm actually just gonna take this brush and blend this together. My cheeks look like there's a lot more like it looks like there's a lot more blush than there actually is okay and now i'm just gonna highlight my nose like how cute is nose highlight i'm sorry but it's just so cute so cute so cute okay so now i'm gonna go in with the morphe 350 palette i'm just gonna go way up myself a little brush and go in with I'm gonna go in with this shade here basically I just put that in my crease put this in my crease a little bit under my eye again over here And then I'm gonna grab this is not to be put this is like a little blending brush but I actually use this is like a um, something else so I'm gonna go with this shade here I'm like so descriptive and like so <laughs> you just know what I'm talking about you know you know I just basically placed this brown all over my lid So it's okay if you apply the nicely, don't worry. I'm just gonna grab a little blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the same brown we use and a little light one above, flicky flick, and just blend everything together. I kind of try to go for like this almond woohoo shape. Okay. And just wanna make sure that they're even. Oh, the eyes are done now. What are these hand movements? The eyes are done. Now we're gonna just apply some mascara. This is the one I'm using. The this is waterproof, yo. This stuff is getting all up under my eyes. 
to be, to be honest, it's actually good about mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. Okay, mascara is on. By the way, my eyebrows never look the same. Okay, so if you're looking at my eyebrows and like, her eyebrows never look the same, it's because they never look the same. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Brunch Meh Lip Liner. Oh, I actually need the mirror back. Brunch me. And this is why we moisturize our lips with the Vaseline because now they won't be like super moisturized and we can line our lips properly. I forgot, guys, I forgot. What she forget? What she forget? I forgot to contour my lips to make them look bigger. My lips are natural, but like, I just like them if they can look bigger. I want to. Oh, I just got like a nose tingle. Ooh, don't you hate those? And then I go back in with the. I need the mirror. I can't do this in the thing. Then I go in with. The brunch meat lipstick from NYX. And with a little bit of this glittery lip gloss because I don't really like the matte look. And I kind of just cut it in the center. Do a little. Mm. <laughs> and oh my god, <laughs> that is it. That's how I do my makeup every day. It usually takes me about 20 minutes to do this. So keep in mind, I have been doing makeup for a really, my make my makeup my makeup since I was like 14. So sorry, my I have like the biggest mosquito bite on my foot. It's squishy. Um, but yeah, I've been doing makeup for a couple years now. So I think that's why I can get it done so fast. It used to take me like an hour to do my makeup like back when I was in high school. But I was like so extra. And I, I was like so extra in high school. I would like powder under my contour. I would contour, then I would bronze, and then I this and that and eyelashes fake eyelashes so if you do that that's like not like do your thing but like <laughs> looking back at it i'm like oh my god do that every day no way <laughs> no way <laughs> that's too much work <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed hanging with me i really appreciate it don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and comment down below let's chat let's get to know each other what's up how are you who are you that's the question <laughs> and i will see you guys next time bye